It was a quieter week for the Yellow Jackets, but it would pick right back up on the weekend. Episode 2 starts right now. Women's soccer kicked things off this week with a game in Menominee versus UW Stout on Wednesday. The Blue Devils would score two goals in the second half to defeat the Yellow Jackets. Goalkeeper Jenna Lang would have 12 saves on the night. On Saturday, it was the opening match of the UMAC conference season versus Northland. Head coach Allison DeGroote said, Our goal for the conference is to continue to chase our potential. We want to show up with a positive mindset, motivated to play our best, and being intentional about the way we play. I'm excited to see how we can develop over the course of the season. And they did just that, scoring two goals in each half to win 4-0. to zero. Nia Wilson scored two goals, Allison Alessi scored her first of the season, and freshman Hallie Carlson scores her first collegiate goal. Up next on Friday, they'll take on Bethany Lutheran, and on Saturday, they'll take on Martin Luther. Women's golf had two days of competition at the Marion Invite in Fond du Lac at Whistling Straits Golf Club. Senior Allie Busick shot 18 over 90 in the final round on Saturday to tie for sixth place overall. The team finished fourth. Up next, they'll compete at the North Central Invitational in Falcon Heights, Minnesota on Wednesday. The men's golf team was at the SJU Fall Invitational, and they would tie for seventh place after two days of competition. Cody Sustanich tied for 24th overall with 7 over 79 on Sunday. He had consecutive birdies on the 7th and 8th holes. They will also be at the North Central Invitational on Wednesday. Now over to Northfield, Minnesota for the St. Olaf Invitational as both teams were set to compete. The women's team would place 12th overall with Nicole Kolsky finishing 108th overall in the 6K event with a time of 26 minutes and 31 seconds. The men's team would participate in an 8K event. Senior Derek Moe would lead the team with a time of 26 minutes and 29 seconds to help the team place 8th overall. Seniors Derek Moe, Tyler Finger, and Connor Nelson all had personal bests at the event. On October 1st, both teams will compete at the Blue Gold Invitational in Colfax, Wisconsin. The volleyball team traveled to Bethel for two matches. Let's start with the UW Stout match, as they would go down two sets, but they would take the third before the Blue Devils would eventually take the match 3-1. to one. Junior Cassie Teff had a triple-double with 11 kills, 14 assists, and 13 digs. We'll see near Megan Holes had a double-double with 20 assists and 11 digs. I had a chance to ask the coach about her thoughts on the game. I think, you know, it was... It was a it was a good match. I, I think our team showed improvement um, in a lot of different areas and things. Um, and so I'm I'm happy with where they are at, but not with the outcome. But of course, um, you know I think they left it on the court there. Even in game four, you know we were down and they came back to battle and, and keep it close. Mm-hmm. So the second match of the day would feature a matchup with number 24 ranked Bethel. It'd be like the earlier matches. They'd go down two sets, but they'd take the third but the Royals would win the match 3-1. to one. On Tuesday, they will take on Northland for the UMAC Conference home opener. Only facing Northland only a few days ago, they would meet again on the pitch on Saturday. This time, they'd shut out the Lumberjacks in a 3-0 victory to get the season sweep. Protus Babaya would ha- open up the scoring in the 15th minute. Blake Doya would also score a goal just two minutes later to extend the lead, but the offense wasn't on yet as freshman Harry Ambler got his first collegiate goal. Then on Sunday, they'd take on UW-Eau Claire for the first ever matchup between the two teams. There was a special tribute to an incoming freshman, Ryder Woodworth, who passed away just days before he was set to move to Superior to start his first season with the Yellow Jackets. A special moment of silence was held before the game, and Woodworth's parents were honored before the kickoff. The rest of the game would be an uphill battle as they found themselves down two at the half. The Blue Golds would score again, making it three to zero. In the 81st minute, Blake Perry would find some space and just drill it with his left foot into the back of the net. Up next on Friday, they'll take on Bethany Lutheran, and on Saturday, they'll take on Martin Luther.